What is up guys, Killer Kevin today back with a brand new episode of Skyrim Special Edition Mod Track. Yes, this is on my channel. I hope you guys are having a super sick day. And today we are going to be covering yet another Lagri armor. I hope I said that correctly. Apologies if I didn't pronounce that correctly. But this mod author has produced some absolutely beautiful looking mods. And today we are going to be looking at the Jin Soyan outfit from B&S Blade and Soul. Hopefully you guys are going to enjoy this one. And as always, if you want this mod, links are down in the description below. This is going to be an Xbox One and PC only mod. It's going to be off of obviously the Bethesda.net website. And this is going to be an, a female only set of gear. So once you have got this mod installed and you are ready to go, you're going to head over to any particular forge. Obviously, your boy is going to be going over to the White Run Forge because, you know, it's my favorite and I love it. If you want to know what armor we're rocking at the moment, this is available for male and female. It was Sauron armor, which we covered a couple of videos back, so go and check that one as well. So once you've got this ready to go, obviously, you're going to need to head over down to the Daedric section. And once you are in the Daedric section, you are going to have to locate this armor, which should possibly be down the bottom. Straight off the bat, which I've just noticed as well, I love the fact when people actually add their own textures to do with the game as well. It just, oh, my, this is so amazing. I'm so psyched to cover this. I don't actually know too much about Blade and Soul. I've heard of it before. I remember playing probably one of them, but only for a little bit, but I don't actually remember this character in particular. So I'm just going to be going off the aesthetic point of view. But obviously, if you're a fan, I don't think you'd be disappointed at all. So it's light armor to start off with, and by the looks of it, it's pretty OP, but there's obviously heavy requirements to make it. So light armor. Armor, weight value of 6 for the gloves here, but a 205 armor value rating for the gloves is absolutely insane. Again, looking goddamn beautiful. That sort of gauntlet slash bracelet thing looks absolutely beautiful. So we're going to create that. Wow, look at that. The outfit just in general. I'd be happy with just looking at this like this, but I want to see what it's like on the character. Again, super OP. Armor value of 418, which is astronomical for a chest piece. Weight value of only 22 for light armor. I probably might keep this even though I'm not a fan of Blade and Soul that much. It's just an absolute stunning piece of armor. And for the fact of as well, it's a little bit OP. But again, as I said before, the requirements to make this are a little bit overpowered, I must say. Obviously, this is the full set of armor here. Not too short of the differences. Obviously, one being uh, full outfit full and one just being the outfit they look identical and obviously identical through the armor value ratings and the weight and as well of the light armor so we're going to grab both of those just have a little look we've got the shoes here as well looks pretty damn cool that looks nice 213 jesus was a little pairs of shoes that are weight value of four that's insane and obviously as well we got the two-handed sword which looks absolutely sick cannot wait to throw an enchantment on this one and take it into the combat as well this blade is going to be 192 hopefully we can bump this on the grindstone as well to make it a legendary weapon because that would be overpowered as hell weight of only 23 absolutely insane so you want an overpowered light piece of armor or a whole set of armor then this is obviously going to be your mod to grab it looks yeah, i cannot wait to show you this guys it is going to look absolutely awesome so let's equip the weapon straight off the bat here like so we're going to equip that there we go it's obviously going to be a two-hander now all we need to do is equip the armor so this equip the gloves the outfit the shoes and i'm pretty sure that is going to be it for that one so let's have a quick little look here holy hell look at the detailing on that i obviously want to i want to see what the full version is as well let's just have a quick look in the background to see what the full version of the, the outfit actually looks like as well much better it's kind of like a little cloak system bit there as well i'm gonna whip out the sword just so you guys guys can have a little look as well it's kind of like a blue cortana katana like a blue katana as well but it looks absolutely sensational obviously i'm running a modded set of animations throughout all of my videos now so obviously be aware of that but just the sheer amount of detailing looks absolutely insane crazy that's for damn sure look at that the shoulder bit there with the feathers and the horns looks absolutely good i like this little bit of detailing running through the mid of the chest running all the way down to the leg there it's kind of like a little bit of skin but it's kind of got that sort of dragon see-through sort of tight texture running through there it looks absolutely sick as well the gauntlet was the main thing i wanted to look at obviously a replica within the forge strands of the character which i like indeed rolling up to the bicep as well looks absolutely great just an overall just a stunning set of armor obviously this mod author has done a ton of different mods as well so i urge you to grab all of them and try them all out we've covered i think pretty much 99 percent of his or hers mods on the channel and they're absolutely beautiful really goddamn good and that blade looks sick as well 
really damn nice. Obviously, we're going to be taking this set of armor into combat. Do not worry about that. I just want to see how fluid and how you know well it moves into combat. See if there's any textures, problems, or clipping. Don't think there is. I would like to see as well if we can upgrade any of this particular armor as well. So obviously, we're going to see if we can make this weapon legendary. So let's see if we can find it. I don't think we can, which is a little bit upsetting. No, we cannot make this sword any more overpowered than it is, which is not a ba too bad of a thing. I mean, it does hit like a train as it is. Can we upgrade the armor? Let's see. No, we cannot. That is fine by me. So the armor value rating as a whole for this character is going to be 861 for light armor. It's absolutely beautiful. It looks amazing. It looks stunning. And... Uh, I can't say much more really, I don't really know too much about the blade and soul but this armour does look really damn good and I would love to keep it and carry on using it with a female character just through general through the world of Skyrim. Guys if you did enjoy this video hit me up with a like and a comment but guys until the next one, kill a kefir and kill a kev out.